Qprobe and Nonlethal Applications as the result of a close collaboration with Avid to deliver integrated ADR, foreign language dubbing, and Foley workflows without the need for additional setup or separate project management. It offers advanced Q import, creation, sharing, and export options, and adds live ADR Q overlays directly to the Pro Tools video output. It also delivers streamer, marker, and flutter overlays for composers and uses in other areas of sound post production. QPro is supported in Pro Tools 2025.6, and you can install and run a free 30 day demo from the Nonlethal Applications website. Let's have a look at how it works. Synchronization between QPro and Pro Tools and project management are handled transparently by the QPro Connect plugin, which can be instantiated on a mono aux track in your Pro Tools session. This will automatically launch QPro with matching project settings to the Pro Tools session. At this point, QPro and Pro Tools are already fully linked. The timecode counter now showing in the Pro Tools video window is being rendered by QPro. When locating the playhead or making selections in either QPro or Pro Tools, the other application will always follow the changes accordingly. When playback is initiated in either QPro or Pro Tools, the two applications are already playing back in sync, without the need for any satellite link or MIDI timecode setup. Scrubbing playback is also linked. All the data we'll be adding in the QPro project will be stored with the Pro Tools session when it is saved. So let's look at how we would manually add an ADR cue for the character called Leonard in this film. First, we add a new character track and name it Leonard. We can add some additional character attributes, such as actor name, track color, and character prefix, which will be useful to show in overlays and cue sheets. As timeline selections are mirrored between both applications, defining a cue's start and end points can be done from either QPro or Pro Tools. In this case, we will make a visual selection over the waveform in Pro Tools. With the selection defined, simply hit Command F7, or if you have a Stream Deck, use the new ADR queue button. The Edits event window appears with the text field selected, so we can add text for the queue. Now let's switch on the pre-roll in Pro Tools and hit play. I want to, um... We can already see the ADR queue overlay with the text. The start and end point are a bit loose, so let's use QPro to tighten them. We can use keyboard shortcuts to trim the start and end by one frame, or use the trim tool to quickly edit these. But it would be better to be able to hear the audio while trimming the cue. First, we need to choose which track in the Pro Tools session has the sync dialog guide. Then we hold the control key to scrub trim the cue to find the exact in and out points. Let's have a look at that. I want to, um... Great. Let's look at how we will cue Leonard's next line using QPro. Holding the control key, we can scrub to the start of the line, and then holding down shift and control, we can find the end point of the line. Then we hit the A key, and enter the text for the new cue. QPro provides a plethora of additional cue information, such as rich text options, notes, engineering notes, pre-roll duration, custom cue streamer color, as well as a detailed selection of reason codes with additional user-defined reasons if required. Let's see how that cue looks. I want to um, apologize for last night. Perfect. Cues can be split very last easily using the seven. B key for, for, with precise control of where in the text the split should happen to provide secondary wipes for additional timing while not necessarily increasing the overall cue count. I want to um, apologize for last night. Cues can also be intelligently merged, combining the text from the merged cues into one. Text from shooting scripts or other text files in PDF or Word format can be added via the shooting script import window, where you can go through line by line to capture text from the script, define the in and out points, and commit the cue. All the attributes of every overlay type are completely customizable to your own liking. Overlay settings can easily be saved and recalled or shared with other users too. QPro offers advanced bulk import options from a number of file formats like XML, CSV, Word, Excel, TTIL, or even subtitle files. We have the ADR cues of the main characters already exported as a CSV file from another application. Using the import events from file menu item, we can select the CSV file. Next, we see the import visual events from file window. QPro will try to guess the correct mapping from the column title. Files such as this with commonly used header names will automatically be mapped correctly to the correct corresponding ADRQ fields. 
Once we are happy with the import settings, we can click the Import Events to Timeline button. New tracks are created for the new characters and all the cues appear in the timeline. Let's look at some other ways of importing cues. In this case, we have the crowd loop group lines which were queued by another editor and imported in the Active Pro Tools session as clip groups. We can bring those in by selecting the Pro Tools tracks we want to import and then selecting the Create Events from Clip Group Tracks command. The additional character tracks are automatically defined and all queue information such as character prefix and reason codes are maintained. QPro also offers advanced bulk import options from TTAL files, which are widely used in foreign version dubbing workflows. Let's first make a new timeline to bring the German queues onto, so that we can keep our current English queues intact on a separate timeline. Timelines can be used in many other ways too, for example different picture cuts. Next, using the same import field we can select the TTAL file with the German queues. Click the Import Events button, and there we have all the German queues ready for recording. We can switch between the German and English timelines really easily from the Timeline pull-down menu. ADR Master Projects can also be opened directly. It's as simple as selecting the ADR Master Project from the Import ADR Master Project menu. QPro includes a powerful technology called QLink, which allows the ADR queues in the currently active QPro project to be shared with any other devices with a web browser on the same network, without the need for any additional software. This can be especially handy for monitoring, even instantly editing your queue sheets while queuing, or sharing with the talent and other attendees so they can follow the current queue being recorded during the recording stage. It's very simple to add or delete users for each recording session, with the necessary editing privileges and character filter matching preferences. Four-figure passcodes are auto-generated but can also be edited. Users can scan the QR code with a smartphone or tablet to join the session or have the web link sent to them with a simple click. Once the user pastes the web link into a browser and enters their passcode in the login page, the queue sheets are shown at the current selected queue and will follow by default when a different queue is selected in QPro. Users with editing privileges see more fields, such as engineering notes, reason, and recording status. They can also edit any field, which immediately updates the overlays in QPro. Users can also unlink from the currently selected queue and browse, or search for any other queue, and similarly apply any changes, and then relink to return to the current queue once done. It's just as easy to export your queues as queue sheets or as text into one of the many supported formats by using the Batch Export Events option. Here you can select between any combination of Word, Excel, PDF, CSV, and Netflix TTAL. Let's choose PDF for queue sheets. You can choose whether all queues or just the selected are exported, the sort order by character or timecode, and whether each character has a separate file. You can choose just the current timeline or any combination of other timelines as well. For Word and PDF formats, we can choose the different desired cue sheet types for the engineer, director, and actor, and which of those should have take boxes added. Finally, some project info can also be added. If exporting CSV, there are some delimiter and template options. And once done, we simply hit the export button. And that's it all done. Let's have a look at them. Finally, as we all know too well from experience, no project is ever safe from picture recuts, even during the ADR queuing and recording processes. Picture recuts can be dealt with effortlessly using the Cargo Cult's Matchbox 2 software. This can reconform your audio in Pro Tools and your ADR queues directly in QPro, making sure they're always in sync with the latest cut. Let's load a different project. All the work we have done in QPro until now is saved when the Pro Tools session is saved. So as the new session opens, the QPro timeline will clear the current queues and populate itself with the queues saved inside the next session. Once the reconform has been set up in Matchbox, you launch the reconform window. Select QPro slash ADR Master as the reconform type and making sure you are happy with the offsets to determine where the old cut will be moved to and new clips will be reconformed to, you hit the Run It button. A message window appears in QPro and that's it, done. In seconds, QPro created a duplicate timeline, moved the old cut cues to the chosen timecode position, and reconformed the cues from the old cut back to the new cut at the original hour. That's it for this brief QPro overview. Whatever your ADR management needs are, QPro has you covered and does all of this with ease and direct integration into your Pro Tools environment. Head on over to the QPro product page on the Non-Lethal Applications website to check out the free 30-day demo.